Welcome back to another video series in which we will be unlocking all dungeon chests in Outlands. This video is Darkmire Temple, and today I'm going to be running Fortune Aspect. Fortune Aspect gives you that experience bonus, and it gives you a loot bonus, which is nice for single drop items or non-stackable items, such as treasure maps. Guys, Fortune is for treasure maps. It's for treasure maps. I'm going to be talking about that in another video. So, on our chain, chains, uh, I think I got another link in there since the last video, but we're working towards the same progression, so getting those chest success chances and progress up. Okay, we got the same build, and the elemental is the same, so it's pretty much all the same, guys, so let's get into it. And here we are in Darkmire Temple. So we're going to be going really fast this time, guys. Got a lot of double rope action in this video. Not a lot of elemental, but we're going to keep them around a little bit. First chest here, double rope. And there is a hidden jaguar that defends this chest. But we were quick enough that he didn't see us. If a stealth creature does see you, um, you won't be able to hide. And you might be wondering, well, why can't I hide? Well, if that's the case, you'll be backstabbed by a stealth creature in a couple seconds. But we've got our elemental to, to uh, protect us on that one. Now, I did think there was a level two here, but it's actually over here. So, uh, yeah, there it is. In the grass. This one you kind of got to get right up on. Some of the chests they are they're placed in sort of weird spots in this dungeon and um, you won't be able to reach them from two tiles away. It's pretty uncommon but you know you know that's that's uh, something, to, something to consider when you're teleporting to a chest. All right next one down here level two. Pretty easy stuff. The mobs here are all just, they're very weak. You can just breeze right by them. Having an elemental helps. Um, otherwise, you know, they're, you know, they're not going to do too much to you. Easy to, easy to avoid. And on to the next. This next chest here is typically the first chest that I do in this dungeon because you can actually mark a room right behind it and you can recall into the dungeon from that point. So this would be my first chest normally and then I would just head on down to the next levels. But we are doing all the chests. And then now uh, teleport on down here. Try to keep up that double teleport as much as we can. Now there is a creeping soil here and my elemental is pretty far behind me so he's probably going to aggro me. And he did. So I couldn't hide there. But quickly he aggroes the elemental. There's a couple of these guys down here. I think there's, yeah, there's two. Yeah. Two creeping soils. And they're very weak but uh, they will block your hiding, so just be aware of them. And here's another one of those chests that seems like you can just access it from far away, but you gotta get right up on it. So my teleport was a little off there. I really like that this script, um, it's, it's basically, I designed it to, to do this, where you can just like teleport to a chest and it'll hide you right away. And it's very powerful because, you know, if you, especially if you double teleport, I mean, this, the mobs have pretty much no chance to aggro you. And there is, I believe there is another creeping soil somewhere around here, but he, he's probably, I don't know, he's, he's, he might be, you know, by that waterfall or something. I don't know, he's not attacking right now. All right, and we'll head on down to level two. So there's a special, a special uh, a change that's happened to this dungeon recently that I talked about in my last video which was the Palma video. Quickly we'll just teleport behind that tree there. Level 3. And I'll, I'll get to that change in just a second here. So the mobs around here, they, they're still with the weak magic. Um, early on in this level, you don't really have to worry too much about AoE or anything like that. But as we progress through, there is some things to be, to be aware of. And so on down here. The mobs that defend this chest are dead right now, but it's just like a pixie and a whatever, like a, some kind of vine gazer thing. And uh, yeah, they're, they're weak. You can just breeze right by them. Having an elemental on the early levels is really nice. Just It just makes things so simple. You know, nothing is really, nothing can possibly mess with you and they can't kill the earth elemental, so it's nice. But we are going to get ahead of them here. So here's a level three hidden in the bushes here. And, uh, you know, if you do get ahead of your elemental, it's still kind of nice to have them back there because 
if you notice, these guys will follow you from so far away. Like, you really have to try hard to get out of their range before they stop moving. And, uh, you'll kind of see here, I'm going to get really far ahead of them. And you just see how far back this guy is willing to, to stick on me. So he's still following me, still following me. And we'll go up to this level 3 here. Nothing much in this room. There's a there's a couple snakes, and they will poison you. Um, there's sort of like a... It's hard to tell, but there's a pillar in the middle of this room. And, and um, yeah, you can use it to line of sight, those creatures. So we're going to tell our elemental to stay here, because this next room is a doozy. This is a new tier room. So I'm going to smoke bomb. Not really going to mess around, because if you do aggro that thing, it will start its attack, and it won't stop even if you're hidden. And it basically, its attack encompasses this entire room, so if it does start attacking you, yeah, you're gonna be taking more than 100 damage. Because those things, even at high aspect for for leather wearers, it does a lot of damage. It's like 120 or something like that. These guys are the ones you watch out for in this dungeon. And I did miss the gold there, so I'll go back and get it. And we will just sort of uh, say goodbye to the Ucha there. Did I say that right? Ucha? How do you guys say it? Let me know in the comments below. How do you say it? Ucha? Alright, and uh, we are going to teleport here. And that was pretty good, except for we did catch aggro from the hunter over there. Now, thankfully, he didn't poison us. He will poison you with his arrow. And now we have our first AoE, well, except for the Ucha, um, of the normal mobs. This antlion will... He does a burrow attack, and he, he can do some AoEs, so... Just make sure that your elemental is not anywhere nearby you, if you're using one. And yeah, we're just going to teleport on up here. And my hiding was not ready, so I'm just sort of standing there picking it, waiting for the elemental to come and, and take my aggro. I believe we were still on the first elemental, and yeah, he just, there he is, he died. So as we're teleporting around here, you'll notice that I'm not, these tiles, they used to be broken. Like every tile on this level used to be broken, these stone tiles. And they fixed it, so you can like just you can teleport around this dungeon like a boss. It's awesome. It took them five years to fix that. <laughs> Turns out it was like a really easy fix too. That's what it sounds like it anyway. So okay, we got this level three done, and on to sort of a hidden chest here. The Ucha room is the kind of the first hidden chest on this level, and this is sort of the second hidden chest. So we can walk on through there. A lot of stuff in here that's going to poison you. All well, the snakes will poison you, and then the, the slimes are going to have a ranged attack. So It is quite easy to actually teleport to this chest. You can uh, click the black area before this room is revealed, and it'll teleport you in, into the room. I didn't do it here because I had an elemental, so... On to the next, and level 3 here. Now there's an antlion that'll kind of tend to follow you up, and thankfully he didn't aggro my elemental this time because he would have been doing some AoE to me in this little corner. So yeah, just be aware. Some AoE nearby this room. And we will probably run by him right here. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so never mind. It's dead. So we're going to teleport past this guy, because we can now. And, uh, yeah. He, will, he, he likes to poison you. You know, little poison darts, just like the other one, the Darkmire Hunter. On to the next. So these next chests here are in somewhat of a hidden area. If it's not obvious, there's a little pathway down here. And a couple level fours in this hallway. Now again, there's some antlions in the room just that we just went through, and they can follow you down here. So just make sure they don't. And I'm gonna position myself to teleport to the next chest. And here we go. And amazingly, that um, I took aggro there. Now, sometimes these mobs, you know, they're they're kind of on a, a sort of an RNG-based awareness cycle, and they can be, you know, if you catch them in just the right at just the right time, they can aggro you pretty quick. And that's what happened there. So I'm just gonna wait for my stealth timer to time down a little bit here, and I will double rope. Sorry, rope teleport right to this chest. Uh, bless this chest. This chest gave me an antiqu antiquity uh, a couple days ago. It was a glass shelf, so yeah, I'm just 
I'm fond of this chest right now. It's only level four, and yeah, I got a chest antiquity from it. That was my second one this season, so they are quite rare. Yeah, we'll do another double teleport to this one. Now, this one's another one of those weird line of sight ones. You gotta get right up on this one. Level five here. This room's pretty dangerous. It's got uh, it's got some these elementals. One of them's more advanced than the other one, and they uh, yeah they'll poison you. They do the spell spell poison. And I believe he can grab you as well. And this dungeon gets real grabby on the next level. So we're going to be aware of that. And yeah, we don't really need an elemental. We're just sort of just sort of double roping past everything, being real quick. And I'm going to preload a teleport here and just, just place it just right so these ant lions don't see me. Because those are the ones that like to follow you down the hallway. And they will... They will screw you up on this chest if you let them see you. Often what will happen, even without an elemental, is if they see you come into the chest and you, you manage to hide, they're still going to, like, if they burrow, they're always going to finish their attack. What goes down must come up, I guess. So here we're at the boulder hallway. And, yeah, I can't teleport here. It's a trapped hallway. And just be aware, some, sometimes people like to, you know, they like to camp here, they like to wall a stone this place off and try to get you killed with the boulders. But uh, none of that going on right now, so we'll do this level 3 real quick. And that's it for this level. On to the next level, this is where things get a little serious. And this is quite a dangerous dungeon, you know. Most dungeons get pretty dangerous the further down you go. Uh, some, some are, you know, pretty tame, but this one, the difficulty increases quite a bit. And most stuff is dead, but yeah, you can just teleport right to this chest from the upper uh, platform there. There's just a spore guy around here, so make sure he's not anywhere near you. Because he does do a... he releases the spores and makes everything toxic around him. And uh, I've got a couple maps so far, not bad. So I, you know, I am running Fortune this time, so I'm working it up. And, and Okay, you'll see the script errored out right there. That's because I went through the screen transition, and sometimes that happens. So just be aware. You'll have to replay the script from time to time. And yeah, hopefully we get more maps. The The good thing about Fortune is that it gives you a higher special loot find than Harvest, obviously. Um, so that's good for things that aren't doubled, and maps are not doubled. So if you're hunting for maps, Fortune's the way to go. Okay, I'm just going to teleport up there, leave the elemental below. This gets pretty dangerous now. We're, we're into the demon area here and, and these trees. So the trees will they'll sort of uh, they'll do an AoE attack where they push their roots up through the ground and they'll make you bleed. So you really don't want that happening to you as you're approaching the chest. So, you know, these ones you got to be, if there's a tree around, you got to be real quick. And of course the demons, they grab you. They always grab you. So I love the fen demons anyway. Now I did do a little cut there because this chest wasn't up, so here is a, you know, my bag is different all of a sudden, so just be aware of that. And uh, yeah, I'll just teleport right past the custodian. I didn't paralyze him this time, there was somebody else in the room, so I just ripped on by. And yeah, this was from a different run I was doing. Um, you know, I, I don't, comparing the bags, I don't know, it was, you know, it was roughly the same, I guess. I don't think I got all the, as many chests as I did in the original video, but we're going to snap back to that in just a second. Notice we're in war mode again, so... Also, these chests are a little rough because I am running Fortune, and Fortune, it does not give you a chest bonus. So, if you are a Fortune user, you may consider having some, some, uh, some of those chest progress and chest chance links before you max out your special loot. It's up to you. Now here we got another Uchiha in this room, and we're going to leave our elemental pat back there. You do not want your elemental triggering that Uchiha. That's one of the worst things that can happen, so... Now we just quickly teleport to this chest and do it nice and quiet. And I'm going to double teleport to this chest above me. Uh, but I missed the second teleport. I missed one of the teleports. Uh, but, you know, just casually, we're just going to invis ourselves and, you know, just relax. You know, don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm just going to get cozy with these extremely deadly mobs at Half-Life. Yeah, we got this. No problem. 
And uh, so these wisps here, if they cast spells on you, there's a chance they'll make you bleed. Uh, the spider is going to trap you up. You know, he's going to make you bleed. He's going to do a lot of damage. And that uh, tree guy will throw a tree at you. Uh, as you can see, he threw a tree at me just before we came down here. So here we got the Earth Sorcerer. Uh, this guy casts spells very quickly, but he's really easy to get by. Now, teleporting to this chest also, you'll notice I didn't teleport to it, uh, and that's because the, there's a like sort of a, a decline there, and you can flub a teleport here pretty easily. So, invis, that's why we have invis. That's also why we have smoke bomb in case invis doesn't work. So we bring up another elemental here, and the trick to this hallway is one at a time, guys. One at a time. That includes your elementals. So you leave that elemental back there, and we'll get an L we'll get this ready. And I did get oh, okay, I got poisoned, and I got webbed. This is not looking good all of a sudden. And and that is how squishy a lockpicker can be. <laughs> if you get webbed all of a sudden. And we'll just snap back to, to life here. And thankfully nobody looted my body. Fully looted and we're ready to go. A little traumatized after that one. So we're just going to kind of just take a breather here to make sure we don't screw up again. But yeah, the plan was to just invis myself with this chest as I ran through, as you could, well, as you could tell before I died. <laughs> and so typically here, you know, you can triple rope all the way up these stairs and right to the chest that's up here. But being that I am traumatized from that demon, <laughs> just just for the moment, just for the time being, I'm just gonna, you know, we're just gonna take it easy, you know. So these guys up here, they'll do some disease on you. Uh, they will cast spells on you. And they're pretty nasty. You definitely don't want to get touched by them. And uh, you want to stay out of their spell range. Don't aggro them. So we get this level six done here. And yeah, so yeah, loot's looking not bad. Uh, fortune, it's definitely good. Definitely good. Definitely going up in price a lot right now, too. And, uh, you know, the prices are always fluctuating. And, you know, I made this video uh, releasing it today as you're seeing it. So that's always subject to change, core prices. So I like to summon a little elemental here just because there's a lot of stuff in this hall right, that can mess with you. But, um, yeah, usually you can teleport right to that chest, too. But, yeah, I, I caught some aggro, so good thing I had that elemental. If I didn't, you know, smoke bomb's always there for me. So we're getting, this is the spider loop, and it is a, uh, you know, you want to be quick through here. You don't want to touch any mobs, because if they grab you, it's, you know, it can be over really quickly. You get that sticky spider web on you. So I think every single mob here does that, by the way. So <laughs> there's like giant black widows there. There's the big spider. There's like little spiders. And uh, yeah, I'll teleport right to this level four chest. And you, you really just, you really don't want to catch a bleed because you could be sitting there at a chest, you know, picking it while you're bleeding and, you know, things can get a little bit too much. So we're really, really just as quick as possible. So we'll head on up here and check the level eight. And uh, yeah, get that magic reflect up because you know that custodian, he hurts a lot. He does a lot of damage with his spells. And we are going, there he is, we're going to paralyze him. And he did, <laughs> unfortunately I didn't exactly do that great because he unparalyzed himself with his own spell from my reflect. So, you know, that can happen. That's why we want to try to paralyze him before he casts the spell. But uh, you can't always do that because he's, he's a quick... Quick custodian. Now you can see my trap chance here for this level eight is pretty horrendous. My success chance is awful, and uh, I'm using gold gold right now because I've got a few of those those uh, chest success links. So yeah, gold's pretty cheap, and uh, I don't want to spend too much too much uh, you know too much of my wealth on on stuff that decays like that. So so we're going with gold. Now thankfully I didn't get a trap on me. And you're going to see some spam here. You know, one in five doctors recommend spam, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. You can filter that out if you hate it, um, just by filtering system messages, filtering repeating system messages in Razor. There's an option for that. And uh, actually, after this video, I did do that. After this run, I did do that. So yeah, you might as well do that. 
Now the reason why it is spamming is because I replayed the script. So it's gonna probably do that again because I summoned a North Elemental. And I played a script to do that, so. Normally this is, you're not really gonna see this uh, unless you replay the script. So enjoy your doctor recommended spam. And this, uh, this chest is pretty slow when it comes to fortune, so you know when this builds max out, it won't be as bad. Um, I might consider using better lock picks because 35.4% chance that's gonna slow you down quite a bit. And but uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, and on to the next. So custodian, even though that took us forever. Custodian, still no problem. Guys. Like if you have, if this is one of the main reasons why you want to have an elemental that's you know beefed up a little bit, because I noticed there's uh, guys that aren't running that. It's pretty hard to do those chests. I mean, if that custodian's harassing you, there's not much you can really do except for just run away. <laughs> you can paralyze him one time, but if you paralyze him again, he'll get himself out of the paralysis. So be aware of that. And yeah, we're doing this level six here. Just finishing the spider loop. Of course, I was able to double chat. Uh, sorry, uh, double teleport to the chest, but the spider saw me, so yeah, we do the invis. Okay, now my cup is running over. Remember in the last video, I talked about how this is automated now, and there it is. The, the script will automatically fix your bag so that you can have more loot in your bag. Okay, I'm gonna run by here a little bit because I know that tree's going for me. You know, those little spikes that come up with the ground. So I'll just uh, smoke bomb there and grab up that level four. And we are almost done Darkmire. There's just two more chests after this. So, you know, it's it's not the biggest dungeon, but it's pretty, you know, it's it's pretty mid when it comes to, comes to loot. Like I do get some pretty good loot here, especially in this back area. Uh, but, you know, yeah, I, I, I would love if there was a Dark Mire level 4. That'd be great. I'm sure there will be someday. So yeah, we're going to run our Recycler there because we were a little overweight. And... Yeah, that, I just didn't like the way that Wisp was looking at me there, so I'm just going to take a second here to get my mana up to 50. And okay, well, Mad Bob's going to help me out there. So yeah, I was just waiting for 50 mana so I could run into this room. Uh, this room is... This is pretty dangerous. Uh, yeah, if you everything in this room is basically gonna stall you, grab you, poison you. So the the demon and the dragons. You gotta be careful. You can definitely double teleport right up to this chest and it'll be fine. But there's just that little chance where I just don't want to be aggroed by that wisp up at the top, take a bleed, or 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 you know take a uh, meteor swarm from the demon. So the elemental comes in handy there. And off to the last chest, which is just right here. And, okay, well, my elemental got held up there. I'm just waiting for him. Okay, there he goes. But I got a successful double teleport here, so I didn't even need him. There's the vile plant seeds there, making sure that's not nearby me. There's three AoE, and everything in this room is AoE, so yeah, do be aware of that. And let's get out of here. Nothing super special in the last chest, but... And I didn't I did run out of regs. I just noticed I ran out of regs. So we, <laughs> that could have been a disastrous escape there, running out of regs. Good thing I can still heal myself. And <laughs> yeah, that, that could have been a little dangerous. So anyway, guys, that's it for Darkmire Temple. We're heading on out of here. Thanks for watching. And uh, stick around for a second. I'm going to talk about leaderboards. And guys, I just wanted to finish this video talking about the leaderboards here. We've got two days and five hours left before the new season begins. So just want to shout out to Sepito. Congratulations on number one. You you did an absolute monstrous job there. It was very hard to keep up with you. There was a little, little while there where I was keeping your pace, but man, that took a lot to do. So I did fall behind there. And uh, yeah, kudos to you for keeping it up because it's not easy. So not only did Sapito get number one, but he, he smashed it out of the park. This might be the highest season ever. Um, all I have for data is the last season, and he almost doubled it. So that was amazing. Uh, shout out to Crit Train. 
this guy, you know, he started from nothing. He's brand new to the server and he went from zero to hero fastest, the fastest possible way. Like, like I don't think there's been anybody who has got as many gold links as he's got and just climbed the ladder as, as fast as he has. So that is amazing. And uh, fourth place here, we got Lize. And uh, Lize kind of came out of nowhere in the last month of the season and has been skyrocketing. Uh, it could be a, a faster pace than Sapito. I guess we're going to find out next season. Because uh, from what I can tell, Lize is getting ready to go. And uh, number five, Crampy. I mean, Crampy, you know, we, me and him got off to a bad start. And uh, we're sort of a little bit of dungeon griefing each other a bit. But, uh, you know, bur buried the hatchet on that one. And... Um, yeah, he's, he's been doing great. He shot up really fast as well. So congratulations on you guys, top five. And uh, old, <laughs> old man Peltier, as, if that's how you say that. Um, I'm just kidding, you're not that old. But uh, man, for, for, for a guy your age though, holy crap. I mean, you're killing in this game. Uh, he doesn't even use, uh, he doesn't even use Majory. He doesn't, he, he tells me he doesn't use ropes or anything like that. So, you know, this guy's uh, truly just, you know, stealthing around and uh, you pretty much, I never see him because he's always in the shadows. And uh, of course, Vessar, he's been he's been doing pretty good. Seen him a lot. I see him playing another character quite a bit. So you can tell this guy he's got some he's got some potential in that uh, he could he could run for first place quite easily if he if he only played as lockpicker because he, he's definitely splitting his time off. Uh, Frank Hunt, you know, we uh, <laughs> had a lot of fun with him early on, and uh, you know he stayed pretty consistent the whole way through. And uh, yeah, congratulations on making top ten, Mr. Hyde. I don't like you. You should you should not be on this list. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, you know you did good too. You're a griefer, but um, you know if you did if you spent less time griefing, you could probably you probably would have done better on the list here, you know. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm salty about that guy. So and then Big Nightmare, obviously that's uh, you know coming in at number ten there. Did a great job. I always see him in Ossuary. I'm pretty sure him and Frank are. Are sort of a tag team there so between the two of them yeah you guys almost got 100k good job and uh yeah that's gonna be it guys um this has been a great season i, I truly think this is the best season of lock pickers that has ever existed on this server and um you know I, who's no, who knows what next season is going to be like but this has been amazing so thanks everybody for for keeping it real uh s some people you know they, they get a little griefy here and there but i can tell you most people on this this top 10 list right here, you know, they've, uh, they've focused on their game, you know, they didn't get bogged down in griefing too much. I mean, we all, we all do it a little bit here just because, you know, when you're being, a, you know, offended on by another character, you got to stand up for what's right and, uh, you know, put them in their place. <laughs> so, but yeah, other than that, I mean, these guys, they focused on their game and they did amazing. So guys, enjoy your trophies, enjoy your, uh, your hall of fame here and, uh, we'll see what next season brings. And we will see you also in the next video.